we've been talking a lot about difficult emotions and also about the role of our amygdala in helping us manage, process, and remember them. Since the onset of the pandemic, how have you been coping with your difficult emotions? Have you been leaning into them, striving to learn from them? Or perhaps as a very natural, organic response, have you been leaning away and even numbing them? You see, our little friend, the amygdala, is our fierce warrior, ever so protective. And she hates pain. And so she'll frequently lean into whatever coping skills she can find to help her feel better. That may take the form of alcohol, marijuana, opioids, maybe food, compulsive over-exercising. There are so many different ways that our brain will dissociate from pain that it will anesthetize itself. And our brain's really smart. It likes to feel good, even if feeling good in the moment doesn't work for us in the long run. So I'd like to invite you to take a moment and just notice what's, if anything, has changed since the pandemic started. We've, we know that on a national level, rates of the use of substances, of food, even having suicidal considerations have gone through the roof. And all of those come together to mean that our brain and our bodies aren't functioning in their best way. And yes, it's natural and human to anesthetize ourselves from pain. And that doesn't mean that we're going to be living the life that we want to be living. So take a moment, assess. Where are you in relationship with your mind and your body? And this assessment is a non-judgmental one. It's a loving, kind one, a simple acknowledgement of, hmm, what am I doing right now to take care of myself? And then it's a thank you, body, for taking care of me today. And as you do your non-judgmental, loving, kind assessment, if you notice that there are some behaviors that are less than preferable, then let's start making changes. But the first step to change is always acknowledgement. The biggest barrier is typically shame. And so let's acknowledge with loving, self-compassion, and even gratitude that we've gotten to where we are right now and that we're taking the steps to learn more about ourselves and lean into curiosity. In the next several videos, we'll be talking about this anesthetizing that we do with different substances, ways of coping, overworking is another great example, and exploring how to make gentle, loving changes, as well as deepening our relationship with our mind and body to create sustainable, organic growth. I'll see you soon.